Mother is a Bong Joon-ho movie released in 2009 and follows the mother of a suspected murderer called Dion. Dion is someone that is not fully mentally there and was seen by the mother as an easy target for the police to pin the crime of a murder schoolgirl called Moon Ajong. She believes with 100% confidence that her son is innocent and tries to slew around and find the real killer. How she does this is through learning more about the schoolgirl and trying to figure out what motive someone would have to murder young Moon Ajong. Through her actions, we learn that the mother, just like the son, is also mentally unstable. She is a character that is overprotective of a son but yet lets him run wild without any consequences, such as the time she feeds him a soup-like liquid while he pees in public and to not tell him off when he is released by the police for fighting three old men. The mother clearly cares deeply for her son, but that loving relation seems to be more through guilt than maybe actual love. This is because back when Dion was five, she tried to poison him and her own self to kill each other so that, as she says, it is not clear why she would commit such an act as the movie never delves deeper, but that lack of information from Bong Joon-ho only makes that idea even more upsetting because we just have to theorise. We know that Dion is not all there. I have no idea what he is diagnosed with, but from the way he acts, we can tell that he can be unstable, shown by the way he reacts when people call him a certain word. Bubble? So from that information we get about Dion, it makes me beg the question, did the mother try and kill her son and herself because she believes that he is someone that cannot function in the real world? If that seems to be in the right ballpark, then it couples up with the idea that Du Jung really did kill the schoolgirl. There is an uncertainty to who is the actual killer, that is because Bong Joon Ho plays a triple bluff. At the end, he makes us believe that it wasn't Dion but instead an old man. But then that old man says that he saw Dion commit the act But then again, at the very end, a character called Crazy JP was the one that the police detained as the actual killer. This method is to make us, the audience, question our own eyes and just as the movie says, don't trust anyone. So who do you believe? Do you believe Dion, the old man, or the police? Dion is unreliable as we see early on in the movie that his memory can be manipulated shown by how his friend Jin Tae convinced him that he was the one who smashed that rich man's car window. <sighs> So can we really believe what he says? And then with the police, they were very eager and fast to convict Dion without doing any other forensics or detective work. So can we believe them when they say it was crazy JP? This movie twists and turns reality and you end up questioning who and what we can trust. The technique of the unreliable narrator is one that is very effective. Martin Scorsese is a director that loves using it in his movies, and Bong Joon-ho uses that here to put us in the mind of the mother. Blinded by guilt for her actions to Dion, she becomes obsessed with clearing her son's name and because of that she is willing to frame anyone that might be slightly related to the crime. For example, when she tried to get Jin Tae detained instead, she thought that a lipstick stain on a golf club was dry blood. I can understand that the two can be mistaken, but without any consideration about whether that was really blood, she was eager to get to the police and use that golf club as evidence to get Jin Tae arrested. Even the police were very unconvinced and were so sure it was lipstick that they weren't even going to bother with sending it to the forensic team. Her desperation to free her son blinds her, and it is that blinded nature she goes about with that makes her a dangerous character, and not only that, but also sympathetic. Because you see how desperate she is, you want to believe Dion is innocent and thus you do kind of root for her, hoping that every step she makes is a step closer to finding the real perpetrator. 
So when Dion says the old man was there when schoolgirl Moon Ah Jung was murdered, it fits with a narrative that even we can believe in. A dirty old man has sex with a schoolgirl, now kills her to not be exposed. The villain of the movie has now emerged. Now we can breathe a sigh of relief with the mother that her son can be let free. But that's not what happens. Instead, we are left mouth open, in shock of the events that follow. Because the villain was revealed, but it wasn't the dirty old man, it was the character we have been following throughout this whole movie. The character that we were sympathetic to and the one where we wanted her to be happy. Our villain was the mother. And this scene became the moment the movie's atmosphere changed. The mother was also unstable and this scene was the clincher that verified that she was too far gone down her guilt for trying to kill her own son that she would now do anything in her power to protect him even if that meant silencing someone that saw everything. This scene is tough to watch because from that point on we don't see her as a mother but as a killer. For her it was never about the schoolgirl or anyone else that might be involved, it was always about saving her son, no matter how or the consequences. So this is one villainous scene, but to what degree? Because is the mother truly a villain? Bong Joon-ho ended the movie with the mother dancing with all the other mothers. As she blends in with them, the camera finds it difficult to lock onto her, until it cuts to black. The movie gives up because she is a mother, just like the mothers that were all around her. A parent's only concern becomes their children, so is she a villain for covering up her child's crime, or is she a mother who is trying to protect her child? You decide.